It was the Battle of the Wildcats here in the convo. Waterford and White Oak came here. They met in the district semifinal tournament. And let me tell you, this was one action-packed games for both teams. The Waterford Wildcats came in with intensity and dominance leading the majority of the game. Peyton Stevens was an essential component as he came in to set up many buckets with his six assists as well. One of the other causes was senior Russell Young, who led the stat sheets with 20 points, two assists, and six rebounds. I'm thrilled for Russell. He, he's had to wait his turn. It's his senior year. He's having a great year, and um, he just stepped up and got the job done. You know, he had a couple moments that he did some things that we're going to work on, but I'm just thrilled for him. And he's calm. He, he's been the calmness all, all season long. While they were strong in the first half, Waterford ended up turning the ball over multiple times in some crucial moments. Head coach Tom Sims gave his input to what attributed to those turnovers. I think it was uh, fear that they were going to lose the lead and they were going to lose at the combo and they wanted to come back to the bad. I mean, they weren't doing anything that we haven't seen all year. I just think it was anxiety and fear of the situation. Another team in the path of Waterford knocked down. They will now go on to play the number one seed, the Cold Grove Hornets, to continue their push to Columbus to secure a state title. Waterford is back in action in the convo again this Thursday, and our coverage will not stop there. Check us out online at wlub.org slash heroes, and be sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms as well. I'm Waterford reporter Ben Bogopolski, reminding you to be heroic.